Hey, what's up? Chris P here. I'm going to be showing you how to take a 2D image and make it 3D. So here's one instance and I can take my mouse and move it around and that's what's changing the camera. We, the viewer, are staying stationary as all these pixels are moving around. So we're actually using Geometrative right now. This Geometrative is a library made by Richard Markstra. What we do is we grab rg.initialize this. So what is rg exactly? Just be thinking of that as all of the points because the polygonizer is the polygon system and rg is simply the name for the polygon system. Right now we have it set for adaptive. So rg.init, this is where we initialize the library rg.ignore ignore styles just ignore that for now honestly it's just something that is a prerequisite that is really not that important right now but what is important is rg.set polygonizer all right so i've got three different examples i'm going to just show you what one of those look like and bam it may not look that different but the points are a lot more separate because right now we are using uniform step. Earlier we, we were using adaptive. And now it looks very different because now we're using uniform length. And these are more line shaped than before. The reason why I have them up there is it all depends on what kind of image that you're loading. Each one works for different reasons. Um, I kind of like this one almost now for the map. I mean, all three work really, but it's just, again, just for different reasons. So uniform length is what I just now had. But I'm going to go back to adaptive because adaptive is actually what I like the most for my next image, which is the Mona Lisa. Say hi, Mona. What I've got is a 2D image again loaded and we're able to extract it in 3D space. So we don't even have to spend time redrawing the Mona Lisa like we do in Photoshop. My point is, is that can you make a animation video of it rotating in 3D space in Photoshop? No, you cannot. And there you go. That's it for today, guys. I'm going to be having this link inside of the video description for the GitHub so you guys can download yourself. This is how you are going to be making a beautiful, awesome animations. So the cool part is that you can record this interaction as a video and then extract it and put it into something else like a music video and use it for a printed poster. I can use it for a laser cut, for a wallpaper, for a motion graphic, for an interactive website. There's just so many applications. So that's it for the day, guys. Adios. If you want to transform yourself from a creative to a creative coder, feel free to check out my website, artnow.lanchaco.com. Link below. Thanks for watching Art Now.